welcome back to the Moose Shop. About a year ago I did this rolling pin with the Celtic knot in it and things didn't seem to line up properly. So after reading all the comments and, and doing some research I think I found out what I did wrong. So today I'm going to attempt to do it right. Um, I have three different blanks. I got everything cut out. I'm going to do it three different ways and let's see which one turns out the best. So the first one I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut it all the way through the whole thing, make it two pieces. This one here, since I cut it all the way through, I'm going to have to put it in a little clamping device I made. Okay, for this one we're just going to go and leave about, uh, about 3 sixteenths of it left so it stays intact. Block number two, since we didn't go all the way through it, all we need to do is glue it and slide this on in there. Okay, for block number three, we're going to leave an eighth of an inch intact also. Alright, so my idea for the third one is to fill up this gap with epoxy. So I put some tape here to dam up the, the sides here. We've got some Total Boat High Performance Medium Hardener Epoxy. And we'll mix it up with a little bit of dye, and we'll get it in there, and let it dry, and then we'll continue on and do the same. Hopefully it, uh, it turns well. well. So this is cut number four, last cut, making sure that all your X's are always pointing out and you got your numbers going, keeping it tight. They look like they're turning out really nice. Okay, so we got them all cut up, all glued up, and it seems like they all worked out pretty good. Now the reason why this one has an X and these don't is because remember that we left an eighth of an inch on each cut so that it stayed intact. So actually this, this one here is, is buried underneath there an eighth of an inch and so on. 
Same with the resin. And the resin looks like it's gonna be okay, I think. We'll see what happens when we put it on the lathe. All right, so rolling pin, we'll call it number one. And this is the one I cut all the way through and, you know, made it two different pieces and inserted. And it looks like they're all pretty good. I got one that's a little bit off, but this one here. But overall, the other one's I just nailed it. And it's all, there's no gaps. I don't see any um, gaps from the glue up. So it must have been some misalignment while clamping for this one here. But it's not that bad, not compared to the first one I've ever done. So yeah, so overall, seemed pretty good. All right, rolling pin number two came out really nice. These intersections line up dead on. The only problem I see about this is that I had to take it down to a thinner diameter, which you could always adjust to that on the uh, when you're building it to make it bigger. But overall, it is smack on. Rolling pin number two. <laughs> Okay, rolling pin number three. So this is the total boat epoxy. Um, turned out really nice. All the intersections meet up. The, the Celtic knot is really tight. Uh, and the epoxy held up really good. Uh, with a nice high grit sanding, this is going to really pop. I like it. But yeah, overall, I think it's a pretty good idea to run some epoxy in there. So cool. Okay, so this ended up being a pretty good experiment. And I found out a lot. So, the three different ones, this one here that you, I cut all the way through and there's two different pieces and they had to clamp was the most difficult of the three. Um, these other ones that you just cut out a slot and then insert something or pour some epoxy in it were really simple. Um, as the way they turned out, all of them turned out really good because what I did was I inserted whatever I cut out. So if I cut out an eighth of an inch, I inserted that, even with the epoxy. So all the all the... Um, intersections line up really nice this one one of them's off a little bit but that is probably my fault on the clamping that's where you're going to get into some errors because it's kind of tough to clamp that thing and keep everything really parallel this one here that you cut the slot and you just insert insert something into it is super easy just load it up with glue and slide it on in there make sure it's a tight fit and that's all you got to really need to do and this was fun and I had to put a finish on it because I, I wanted to see how well that popped. And it is super nice. As a matter of fact, the intersections look like they're all one piece because you can't tell there's, there's no lines. Like these other ones have some little bit of lines of separation of the two different pieces of wood. But, so I learned a lot. If I was going to do it again, I would do the leave it together and insert a slot or epoxy. It's a lot, lot easier than doing this separated one. So, um... Yeah, so make one. It should be fun and easy to do. Good little project. And it ends up being super cool. Especially this epoxy from Total Boat. This stuff is, was awesome. I'll put a link down below for uh, the information about that. So, I hope you liked it. hope you learned something. I know I did. And I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.